Hello and welcome to this evening's edition of E-Prime, I am Daydran. The finale for the Jamaica Gospel Song Competition took place on Sunday at the National Stadium. The event saw the top 10 finalists lifting their voices in praise as they vied for the prestigious title. Portland native Dana Deacon Jones was named the 2018 Gospel Song winner for her track Worshipper's Heart. Dwight Ferrari placed second for God's coverage and Adioliwa Adioye was third. The praise-filled event also saw guest performances by the 2017 Gospel Song Competition winner Shauna Lee Steele and renowned recording artist Prodigal Son. The Gospel Song Competition was launched back in 1987 and has gone on to become a staple in the Jamaica festival celebrations, providing a platform for expression and expansion of Jamaican gospel music. The competition has over the years given birth to many household names in the genre such as Glacier Robinson, Kevin Downswell and Karen Ennis to name a few. Digicel Rising Stars contestant Kiki has withdrawn from the competition after receiving backlash from social media users for several disappointing performances. In a release, the 19-year-old thanked the organizers for the opportunity to perform on the show. She says, quote, You have to be mentally ready to perform for an entire country, campaign for votes and deal with what people say about you whether good or bad. End quote. She had performed thousands of aspiring contestants in the audition phase and made it all the way to the top eight. Kiki apologized to her voters for not continuing on with the show. In a release from the show's producer Sharon Schroucher, she also offered support to the 19-year-old performer saying that while they will miss her, they fully understand and respect her decision. This is the first in the show's 14-year history. Kiki, we still love you. We rad in. <laughs> On the international scene, American rapper Travis Scott released a new album titled Astro World. The project features 17 tracks with guest appearances from The Weeknd, Frank Ocean, Pharrell, Drake, Migos, 21 Savage, and more. Travis also released his Astro World collection that you can now purchase on his website. TravisScott.com. The album is named after an amusement park in his hometown that was torn down back in 2005. Astroworld serves as the perfect follow up to his debut album, Rodeo. That's it for this evening's edition of E Prime. I am Daydran. Thank you for watching.